friends and thanks for joining us and today I want to share with you my five summer faves my five products that I use all the time in the summer that I really feel like at this point I can't live without anymore <laughs> so number one is going to be my DIY sunscreen and since I put out this video on how to make this DIY sunscreen I have actually made two small changes to it that has actually made a pretty good recipe an even better one that I'm even happier with so the first one is that I always make sure to add lavender essential oil to it. I really like adding the lavender essential oil because it actually adds to the SPF, which is nice. And it also has another purpose, but I'm going to skip that for right now really quick. And then I'm going to say the second thing that we have done that has made a change to the sunscreen recipe is that I actually use rose hip seed oil. Rose hip seed oil actually has a natural SPF in its own. And so instead of just taking any oil and then adding zinc oxide to it to make this recipe, by adding the rose hip seed oil, the, the oil has a natural SPF. And then we can actually use a little bit less zinc, zinc oxide in the recipe. And then it doesn't have such a cakey white feel to it that it used to have. So it's made it a bit more comfortable to wear a little bit, you know, less obvious that we are wearing it and it's made it a whole lot better. But going back to that lavender essential oil, we had some of this sunscreen with us and we went on a hike and my kids went, you know, walking off into the grasses and then eventually they came back and their legs actually had some little like hives basically. So what we did is I'm like, well, I have this sunscreen. It's basically a lotion. I'll go ahead and throw that on there and maybe it'll just kind of soothe it for now and then we'll figure out what to do with it later. Well, by the time we had gotten home, the hives were completely gone and I was really surprised. So I looked into it and the zinc oxide actually helps dry them out and then the lavender actually helps to soothe them. So the exact thing that I needed to make the hives go away was the sunscreen. Plus, when we run out of um, deodorant, this actually works in a pinch too because I actually use lavender and zinc oxide in our deodorant. <laughs> so this one recipe, this one DIY sunscreen actually has like multiple purposes and uses. So yes, this DIY sunscreen slash deodorant slash, you know, hive cream <laughs> is a must have on my summer list for sure. I've been making this for a long time now and I don't think I could go back to anything else. The second thing on my summer five faves would be popsicle molds and not just any, but these silicone ones. In the beginning, I decided I really wanted to start making popsicles because you can control the ingredients. You can choose to have them sugar-free, low sugar, you know, you can use stevia, whatever. You can sneak some veggies in there, <laughs> whatever. You know, you can make it a probiotic, you know, a popsicle, you can make it out of yogurt or kefir or anything. You know, if you have like dairy-free, then you can make it out of cashew yogurt or whatever so much possibilities and you can like make the juices yourself or you can make them into smoothies or even just buy stuff like um like jugs of juice and then pour it in the, the molds and then you don't even have to do anything much cheaper than buying popsicles and much healthier than a lot of the popsicles that are available out there unfortunately the first popsicle molds we used was like a container it had like six of them or something like that maybe eight and they were plastic you know tubes with these little like plastic deals you put on the top i got rid of it so i can't show you what it looks like but the little plastic things are supposed to go in there and then you put it in the freezer and you're supposed to be able to pull them out they never worked that way they never came out clean it seemed a lot of times we had to run a ton of water and waste a lot of water trying to get them to come out of the mold sometimes we would try to pull the popsicle out and like the stick would pull out but then the popsicle would stay in the thing it was so frustrating it was just not fun making popsicles that way these silicone molds however they have like little lids let me get a different color so i can show you ones that match so they are silicone, they're totally flexible, they're easy to clean, they're dishwasher safe. We just pour the stuff in there, pop the little lid on there, put them in the freezer, and then they are so much easier. You don't even have to get them out. It's sort of like the push pop style thing where you can just like squeeze it up from the top while you're eating it. And yeah, it's so much easier than the other popsicle molds. And I love these. We make all kinds of like fun summer treats that are so much healthier now that we have them. They come in a pack of six and they're all very brightly colored. Okay, the next one is going to be this Bare Minerals makeup. I know that this is a girl thing to do, but 
I like to wear sunscreen mainly on my face. I only really wear sunscreen on the rest of my body when I know I'm going to be out in, you know, the sun for a longer period of time, but I don't want my face to have that premature aging and different stuff that can happen. And mineral makeup is really good at reflecting the sun's rays to make sure that you don't get sunburn. And this works really good. Like if I put a little bit of this on in the morning, which I do every single morning in the summer, whether I'm gonna be out in the sun or not, because I know I will be in the sun, I just don't know for how long. But yeah, you just brush this on and it keeps me from getting sunburnt. It really works very well. I sweat a lot and so, you know, um, like a mineral powder sort of thing can help make it to where it's not so sweaty, <laughs> help keep my face from glistening. <laughs> and it works really, really well. It keeps me from getting sunburnt and I don't know what I ever did without this. Number four is going to be my sun oven. It is too big for me to show you right now, but it has been a huge help to us. Instead of having to, you know, worry about cooking dinner a lot of the time, I will start something in the sun oven, just put it in the sun, and then whenever it is we're ready for, done, for dinner, it's usually done and ready for us to eat. Um, we can use it for lunch, we can use it for pretty much any meal except breakfast. Usually the sun isn't up enough for that one. But yeah, it keeps a lot of the heat out of the out of the house, and I just really enjoy that thing. I can bake, I can make soups and stews and hard boiled eggs and all sorts of stuff. I did a whole bunch of videos, not a whole bunch, a few videos last year on some recipes on what we you know make in our sun oven. We do even more. They weren't really popular, so I stopped doing them. But yeah, we still use that sun oven. I absolutely love the thing, and it has been such a super help. And then the last thing is these mosquito bracelets. These things are fantastic. They have no DEET in them. They are all natural. Um, they come in a couple of sizes. There's kid sizes and then there's adults. And they come in these little like resealable packages to where when you're going to use them, if I can hold it up. <laughs> so when you're gonna use them, you can just open the little zipper pouch, take it out, put it on. And then when you're done with it, you can just put it right back in the pouch and zip it back up. It has, 150 hours it says that you can use this for and so you can just buy one and then wear it in the evenings or when you know you're working outside during the day and then take this back off and then you don't have to use all those awful chemicals this is all natural safe and again reusable which is fantastic so these mosquito bracelets have been fantastic for us and keeping from getting bit by all the mosquitoes all of these products, of course, are available on Amazon. One of my favorite places to shop is Amazon. And speaking of Amazon, we actually have Prime Day coming up. Prime Day is like the Black Friday of Prime. It's when the day when they have like the biggest discounts. So like our carpet cleaner we bought a while ago, I actually bought that on Prime Day. It was like a $150 carpet cleaner that I got on sale for like 86 bucks and it has saved us a ton of money over time. I use it on the rental carpets, I use it on our carpets, I use it like frequently and it's never broken down, it just keeps on trucking. So I knew I wanted a carpet cleaner and I was waiting and then that day came and I was like, wow, you know, this is a perfect day to get something that I've been looking for anyway. But yeah, Prime Day is an excellent time to get some things when you know, the, some things that we've been holding off on and things that we've been looking at because again, Prime has some really good deals and things on that day that are, you know, available only for, you know, Prime members. And honestly, I think Amazon Prime is worth the money anyway. You get music, you can have TV shows, they have movies, all this stuff is included in your Prime membership, you know, they even have free ebooks. All this stuff is included in the Prime membership. You know, obviously there's the two day shipping then you get access to Prime Day, all this stuff. So yeah, there's a reason why half of American households have a Prime membership is because it's worth the money. So, and they do a free 30 day trial. So Amazon Prime Day is, I think Tuesday, July 11th. So it's coming up here soon. So yeah, you might wanna check that out if there's some things that you've been, you know, hoping to get. You know, you could maybe get some really good discounts through Amazon that day. So anyway, Hope you liked my summer five faves video. I would love to know what your summer five faves are. What are some things that you just could not live without in the summer? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time in Frugal Green Girl.